Good evening, pharmacist friends and pharmacy students. I am Sachin Bhalekar. I am working as a pharmacist and as well as I am working as a technical consultant, regulatory and quality assurance consultant with Cyclone Pharmaceuticals Private Limited. I am lead auditor, lead GMP auditor and I have audited many companies till now. And I am also guiding students through quality excellence and research center from last around 10 years. Excluding this gap of two years of uh, COVID, we had run advanced diploma courses, certification courses in regulatory affairs and quality assurance for pharmacy students. First of all, this is always worry of pharmacy students that they are not getting job uh, in pharmaceutical industry. And that's why they want to do certain courses, but they are not getting proper guidance for these courses. First thing is that why these courses has to be do because we know our syllabus is inadequate to uh, do practical, to get practical knowledge. And for this there always we have to have some add on courses or add on knowledge, which we will get through these courses, whatever courses we are running that knowledge you will never get from any internet websites or never get anywhere except our uh, quality excellence and research center many other institutes are there but you know that theoretical knowledge and practical background practical knowledge is totally different thing and we are delivering the same with our expertise not i am i am not alone there are many uh, regulatory experts and quality assurance experts are involved with this organization and based on our practical knowledge of regulatory and gmp we are delivering these lectures and taking practical trainings for the students. This is first thing. Now many students when this admission process has been started, many students are asking to administrative officer or course coordinators that why we are not running clinical trials and pharmacovigilance courses. First of all, clinical trials and pharmacovigilance, of course, this is part of drug development process. This is part of drug registration process. but definitely this is not part where pharmacists shall get actively involved. If you are asking to, it's everyone's choice. If anyone wants to make career in only clinical and pharmacovigilance, then that's uh, not bad thing. They can go ahead and they can do the career. But currently some people said to nine students have joined our organization Cyclone Pharmaceuticals for QA and RA. We have appointed them when we ask them why you have did this clinical research and pharmacovigilance courses, they said, sir, they told that they will give 100% job to the students. And they send us here saying that clinical quality assurance and pharmaceutical quality assurance is similar. And this is similar kind of job. So you have to go there because clinical trial organizations are currently not having any vacancies with clinical trial organizations. Many courses are running, many students are coming out with these courses of clinical trials and pharmacovigilance. But I want to ask one simple question that how many clinical trial organizations and clinical this data, data entry or this pharmacovigilance organizations, PV organizations are there in India? And how many students are getting passed from these institutions? Apart from this, when I asked to students, it has been, it, it came to know that some software companies are running these courses. So are we going to uh, go only data entry uh, type of kind of things in clinical trials also dosing to the patient and secondly, entering the data in the uh, uh, computer or in pharmacovigilance, entering the data in the computer or data analysis. Apart from that, what pharmaceutical role is there or pharmacist role is there in clinical trials. In pharmaceutical industry, if you are taking knowledge of quality assurance, regulatory affairs, production management, packing management, this is our core field. I'm not explaining this only to run these courses or increasing the admissions because we are about to fill up around two batches uh, till now for this September course. Candidates, getting candidates is not a big task and giving to job to them is also not a very difficult task to Cyclone Pharmaceuticals. Because we are associated with many of our organizations as a consultant, 
and we are as such without course also we are giving job to more than 80 to 90 students or professionals every year so giving job assurance or job guarantee is not a big task for cyclone pharmaceuticals but i am worrying about the career of the students which is misguided by some peoples that you do clinical trial courses spend 25000 30000 40000 whatever is the cost they are telling we are going to that some institutes are running with medical coding and students are getting pushed in that for only getting jobs but what is career options and career progress when we are entering in this, what will be scenario after 10 years if i am starting as a fresher pharmacist in a quality assurance department or regulatory affairs department i am having promotions there executive senior executive senior manager dgm gm vice president director of a company or i can start my own business as i have started as a consultancy as in my career as my career from last 10 years and i am doing consultancy uh, to many uh, multinational companies also doing audits for them also doing uh, trainings for them also in gmp and regulatory so what we are thinking about progress whoever is advising about these other courses what they are thinking about progress of the students are they thinking about career of the students after five years or say seven years or ten years so we have to what exactly role we are going to do what exactly job profile and work we are going to do after doing clinical trials and pharmacovigilance that we must ask to these institutions and i can proudly say that if you are doing quality assurance courses or quality assurance young farm or taking knowledge in quality assurance or regulatory affairs you are going to work in quality assurance department of any pharmaceutical company you are going to do documentation you are going to monitor quality you are going to gmp do gmp audit gmp inspections in regulatory affairs you are going to prepare dossiers for different different countries you are compiling dossiers you are resolving queries you are registering the product and that is also a art regulatory affairs is a art it's not just a internet thing that download the guideline and prepare the dossier some people are taking this very lightly registering dossier and preparing a dossier is a skillful job and it has to have practical hands-on experience so all these things which are not written in any book which are not written on internet or you will not get on internet that all things we are covering in these courses and our experts are trying to make you perfect I'm making this video because many students are saying that, are you going to give job? Yes, definitely. I can say 100% we will give you chance for interview. Understand, chance for interview, not directly job. Why I'm saying this one? Interview cracking is your skills. Grabbing the opportunity is your skill. Referring somewhere is our skill. So we will do our work, you do your job. I'll request that before fifth of, uh, before 25th of this month, we are going to close down the admissions for around, I think, second batch is also going to close. Students are requested to take the admissions and glorify their career with quality assurance and regulatory affairs advanced certification courses. These courses will be conducted online. Every day, one hour's lecture will be there. After every 15 days, there will be classroom training and practical workshop will be arranged for the students and students have to come to Pune. If there are many students from a college, suppose one complete batch is from a college, then our experts will go there and conduct workshops after every 15 days. Uh, so once uh, two workshops in a month means around six workshops in, a, in three months and this is a three months course. Second thing you have to study. After study only, you will get passed and you have to do one project also in quality assurance and in regulatory affairs. These are, these both are different courses. So if you want to take admission for these courses, contact 7611-000-550. I'm repeating the number, contact 7611-000-550. And always take some additional knowledge so you will cop up with interviews and you will grab the opportunity which you are going to receive in future as a uh, as a job seeker and as a freshers thank you very much
यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू क्वालिटी एक्सलेंस एंड रिसर्च सेंटर पुणे